way that they can't understand. There's video that they're moving in a way they can't, can't understand. They're not showing um, a heat signature from a visible means of propulsion. It's not like a rocket. It's like whatever they're doing, they're doing something different. And then Commander David Fravor, who you talked to, that Tic Tac experience, if they really did track something that went from above 50,000 feet above sea level to 50 feet in less than a second, what the fuck is that? Like, if that's real, we're, we're assuming that all the, the, their calibration was on and all their equipment worked together, but it was multiple different visual sightings of this thing, too. Different jets saw it, different people, uniform story. Everybody's talked about how it just moved off at insane rates of speed. And then there's all these other ones like Ryan Long and all these other people that he flew with that are seeing these similar behaviors from these things where they just disappear. Mm -hmm. They move off at insane rates of speed. So it's one of two things. Either he said there's been some sort of parallel science, some science that's going on where nobody knew about it. And all the top physicists were completely unaware of this tech. And they were d developing it independently in some fucking lab in the mountains for the government, or aliens, or well, someone, el or well, someone the, else, or someone else. There's a bunch it. of other options. And one thing is, um, I just talked to David Kipping. It's just I, I highly recommend his YouTube channel, Cool Worlds. He's a legit. It's like Huberman. You sometimes get these like legit scientists who are also good communicators. They'll step up. Oh, nice. So he's uh he's he's like the Huberman of uh, astronomy. Um, uh, young guy, you'll probably have him on eventually. I'm betting. Sure, there's. <laughs> I'll have him on. He's brilliant, brilliant. Uh, definitely check out his channel. Anyway, he um, he's an astronomer, so he's deep in the astronomy, astrophysics community, and he says, and you've said this before too, is he tries to really hard uh, not to think about stuff he wants to be true, like uh, right. be, be very kind of calibrated properly, because with the UFO sightings, there is a part of you. I don't know why exactly, but you kind of want it to be true. Not kind of, like all the way. <laughs> all I want the like 98% of it to be true. And there you have to be a little bit careful. But yeah, it definitely, like to me, it feels like the uh, scientific development that we're doing now with Starship, so SpaceX and Starship, with all the uh, advancement in telescopes, we're just getting more and more and more data to where we're not going to have these shitty videos. We're going to have high resolution mm. understanding. And because it's becoming more okay to talk about aliens i think the actual scientific community has a, a bigger humility about the topic to where they're expanding of uh they're like the the uh the window of their study to uh consider all kinds of physical phenomena all kinds of observation all kinds of sources of data and signals and so on to where we would i mean i, I would hope we would get definitive signals of alien life yeah, definitive. Definitive, like uh, when you, when you um, look at the capabilities of satellites today, like satellite imagery, how uh, how good are they, and how 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 many of them are up there that they could direct to a very specific area and get really good video or photographs? I mean, it's incredible. 